Magnificent beauty is perpetually on parade. Consume it, move to it. Thrive off of it and smile. You're not dreaming. Creativity is everywhere. And a god watches over everyone. Tensions melt quicker than the ice in your caipirinha. Spectacle and sunsets are equally applauded. And lifelong dreams are realized. I'm Tara Lipinski, and I'm here with my partner in crime, Johnny Weir. Join us as we discover the life, culture, and adventure of this summer's Olympic host city on First Look. At dawn, all's quiet in Rio de Janeiro, except for the gusts from a warm, humid breeze. But as the sun starts to breach the horizon and kiss the highest peaks, the silence is golden no longer. Here they call costumes fantasies. Fantasia. And for party lovers, Carnival of Rio is a dream come true. And this, this party, party got started, started at 6 a.m. While the four days of Carnival in Rio commemorate the beginning of Lent, you won't find religion in its festivities. Between these celebrations and the Summer Olympics, this city is pure energy. And in the bohemian section of the city known as Santa Teresa, you'll discover a blocco, just one of the many impromptu street parties that pop up throughout the city. This is the Rio Carnival in Rio. We drink, we dance, and hug everybody, and everybody using costumes and so happy. It's a celebration. It's a celebration about our country. É realizar todos os seus sonhos, tudo que você não é o ano inteiro você pode ser nesse momento. Esse é o Carnaval do Rio de Janeiro. So Carnival is freedom. Is freedom. What do you usually do at 6 a.m.? I don't know. Maybe wander to Starbucks. I'm probably snoring. We've been all over the place, but have you ever seen a party like this? No, this is probably one of the bigger ones, I'd say. It's outrageous. <laughs> oh, here comes the water gun! Oh! Yay! Oh! <laughs> they sprayed us! One, two, three. To Carnival! <laughs> For most, the music, the dancing, the colors, costumes, and the confetti are a signal to party. But at Samba City, where they're prepping for the greatest night on the planet, you'd never know it. The Samba Drome is an event so massive that it's come to embody the word carnival the world over. But this biblically proportioned spectacle is much more than a parade. It's a competition with the 12 best Samba schools in Rio, each performing for a panel of judges and 100,000 people. For us, it's one of the biggest spectacles that really happens, not only in Rio de Janeiro, but also in Brazil. And the enormous task of creating one of those presentations belongs to Fabio Ricardo, artistic director of the Granji Rio Samba School. So how do you keep your ideas and your inspiration fresh every year for Carnival? É, dizem para mim, uma vez me falaram que é um dom que eu tenho. How long did it take you to plan this? Vamos dizer que em 10 meses. And after Carnival's finished, when do you start to prepare again? Eu já estou pensando já no próximo já. It's a full commitment. Aqui no Barracão são produzidas para as fantasias, para mais de 3 mil fantasias que são feitas durante o ano. So many feathers. Uh -huh. And beyond the wardrobe, creating a fleet of two-story floats requires tremendous coordination among designers, carpenters, blacksmiths, prop masters, painters, and electricians. Over 300 individual artisans joined together to form a single factory. Na verdade, aqui onde que nós trabalhamos, nós chamamos de fábricas de sonhos. E essa é a alegoria que vocês vão desfilar. Ah. Esses aqui todos. Is this ours? Yes. Wow. Johnny, that's us. Receiving our own personal invitation to perform in the Samba Drome is an incredible honor. Do you have our costumes? Let me put that blazer on. And with millions spent on hopes of becoming the supreme Samba school in Rio, the stakes could not be any higher. You nervous? I just don't know what to expect. Ah, it's so exciting. Oh my God, if you could see this. Copacabana, 
Ipanema. Leblon. With the Summer Olympics, the world will descend upon Rio's most famous stretches of sand. And it's the Guadavidas, the local lifeguards who are protecting them all, and you. Grande coração batendo para salvar o próximo leão. Podemos ter medo. A gente tem que enfrentar sempre perigo. Our training is hard, you know, so you have to be very fit. Yeah, it's running a lot, it's swimming a lot, and uh, we're doing a lot of simulations of rescues. A gente preza muito isso, a disciplina, a gente preza muito o horário, o comprometimento com a profissão. This is like Olympic training. Yeah. <laughs> Not for anyone. <laughs> But the one common thread on these beautiful Brazilian beaches is wardrobe, particularly that there's very little of it. Sungas, right? That's the name of the bathing suits that we see all over. The sunga. Sunga. I love a sunga. You love it. <laughs> in the U.S., everyone wears something, you know, like this. Actually, if you go in at other beaches around Brazil, the people don't use much sunga as we use in Rio de Janeiro. People like to show off in Rio. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and the miles of picturesque white powder soft sand makes for the perfect place to strut your stuff. How important is the beach to the daily life of a person who lives in Rio? When you are at the beach, it doesn't matter if you are rich or poor. So you can see people come from the favelas and people come from the suburbs, other cities, other countries, and they stay together. The beach is the melting pot. Knowing that you're in very safe and very attractive hands, find your patch, rent a chair. So does this come in a love seat? No. And steal some shade. Then grab a bite. Queijo coalho assadinho na brasa. Oh, over here. Tá uma delícia. Quench your thirst with the purest coconut water you've ever tasted. And sit back, relax, and let the sounds of the surf set you at ease. This is paradise, Johnny. Yes, ma'am. What is this? Not volleyball. Why'd he kick it? Why is he chesting it? Because it's not volleyball. More chest. Yeah, head. Oh, oh. Chest, shoulder. Here he goes. Clavicle. Yeah. In. In. When soccer was banned on the beaches of Brazil, Cariocas created foot volley, a new sport all their own. It's like soccer mixed with volleyball. They are good. I wonder how many times you have to hit it. Yes! <laughs> I caught it! Hi. 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 You want to try it? You want to try to play football? With the summer games in Rio, these beaches will play host to several Olympic sporting events. But today, the sand belongs to the amateurs. So yeah. how do you play? No hands, right? No hands in the No game. hands. It's like a beach volleyball with soccer touches. If I did a full leg. It would be good. So the first step is like to serve. You put the ball on the mount. Okay. And then you try to hit the ball. You see? Okay, like sidekick here. Yeah. Oh! Whoa, oh man. Yeah. Nailed it. Yeah. Yes. Try it. Okay, okay. You're not on my team. Wait, let's try that again. <laughs> I am a professional right. athlete. Oh, you can do that. Okay. Whoa, you see? Oh, yeah. You did okay. that. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. You did yeah. that. A little better. So let's try to play it. <laughs> I really went for it. Okay, Thank ready? you. Try to put as high as you can. Johnny, you did so well! Another net! You, you! Very composed, Johnny. <laughs> I think it's better if we just watch at this point. Oh my god. Johnny is having a lot of trouble concentrating right now. How am I supposed to concentrate when this is happening right next to me? Brazil and her beaches really are stunning. <laughs> Happy coconuts, everyone. <laughs>
Rio de Janeiro is in the midst of a foodie revolution. And with the summer games, the world will feast upon its rich culinary flavors. And at the forefront of this movement are young, inspired, classically trained chefs like Elia Schramm. I started cooking as a professional when I was 22. I tried a lot of school before, in fact, but I never finished, I never graduated. And I decided to try my luck and see new challenges. I went for a cooking school here in Rio, which is called Estacio, and was there where I started to cook. What are the staples of Brazilian cuisine? Brazil is a very big country. It's like the U.S. Each region has their specialities and a special and local dishes. Is the food in Rio different than the rest of Brazil? Rio once was the capital of Brazil, so we have the food all over Brazil in Rio. It's kind of New York food in the U.S. Yeah. And there's no better place to sample Brazil's rich culinary diversity than in one of its most famous botecos, Bar de Momo, in the neighborhood of Tijuca. Boteco is a place where cariocas, people born in Rio, they come to hang out, have a beer. It's like the cafe for the Parisians or a pub for the Brits. This is Toninho, the owner. Toninho. These are my friends. Vai de que, meu camarada? Eu vou de cerveja gelada e as delícias da tua cozinha. Especialidade da casa. Especialidade da casa. Deixa comigo, que a gente resolve. What did you just do? Still sizzling, pulled straight from the fryer, what arrives at the table is golden perfection. Potato and salted codfish cakes and Bellino Giohoj, rice balls filled with pork sausage and mozzarella cheese. Oh, you just go for it. Oh my goodness. Delicious. It's so good. You need to try this. It's like arancini. Exactly. Farol de milha. What is this? Wow. This is a kind of uh, boteco version of your brisket. Wonderful. Pass the test. This is amazing. Lovely and comforting and salty and I love me some eggs. At the Bottega, is it all comfort food? Cariocas, they are comfort in everything they do. And when it comes to food, it's the same. Botecos is always about to be welcome and to be comfort and really, it's not formal. Do you incorporate sort of the street foods in your restaurant? Yeah, I work in a modern restaurant and of course the inspiration can come everywhere. I, I got inspiration from Toninho here, and I also got inspiration from Thomas Keller in the French Laundry in the US. In fact, I have a fancy version for the codfish cake. You like those, you kept talking yeah, about them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We try. should learn how to do it. I would love that. It's very Will you good. teach us? Of course, it's easy. Located in MAM, the Modern Art Museum of Rio, La Guiole provides patrons with a fine dining experience in the heart of the city center. Everything that we try to do here is to give a modern touch to classical recipes. First thing to do is to chop the onion. You need some help or are you good on your own? Maybe a little help. Do you like this? You're going to cut your fingers. Okay, we do not that. want that. Now, this is a classic Brazilian comfort food, but how do people feel when you're updating the classic? I think Brazilians, they are very traditional when it comes to food, but Slowly, they are learning new influences beyond oh, the food. That was yeah. my, my, you yeah. know, I'm gonna leave that. Up, yeah, you just messed up your manicure. No, you almost <laughs> lost a finger. Right, but they're so, pretty thin. Huh? Yeah, they're good. They're very good. So, the chopped onions, melted butter. I'm just gonna bring it to slow heat. We're gonna add the potatoes. mashed potatoes, chopped coriander, shredded cod, chopped chives, some ground black pepper. Always grounded at the last minute. And the nice spoon mm. of confit onions. Getting hungry. So, we have already three. One for you, one for you, and one for oh, me. Oh, perfect. So let's fry them. This is really low fat. light and low fat. <laughs> of course, of course. The people of Rio, they are very worried about the body. That's why I think they chose to, to do the Olympics here. It's a sports city, but they like to eat heavy food. On a bed of pureed tomato, we plate our cod cake with dehydrated black olives and lemon and lime segments for saltiness and acid. Microgreens for freshness, bell pepper rosettes and basil infused olive oil for complexity. And then crowned with caviar, this simple Brazilian dish is a work of art worthy of the museum in which it was created. 
A little different than the Bottega, huh? Yes, I <laughs> This is the first class edition. I mean, look where we're sitting. It's different, but it's not a matter of being better or worse. It's just uh, a different interpretation. I love anything fried, but it feels light still. I love the richness and the caviar. I like the crunchiness of the panko. Did you feel the sweetness mm. from the confit onions? It tastes so good. You really are an artist. Very glad that you like it. All right, so we've had the classic. And the modern. Modern luxury, my yes. friends. <laughs> <laughs> What's for dessert? Every purchase helps support Olympic and Paralympic athletes. Get yours today at TeamUSAShop.com. Que pandeira e palma de macumba Pura qualquer que zumba de amor Sem perdão You know, samba is, is a philosophy It's our main musical identity When you see a, a real samba Well played with real professionals This touches your soul Samba deserves this respect If you had to describe samba with one word Love, passion That's two words the neighborhood of Lapa has become a musical mecca for musicians like Moises Marquez and the karaoke's who come out to see him. And when the sun sets, this part of the city comes alive. The main corner of Lapa, we can find forró music, we can find hip hop, we can find rock and roll, blues. Having mix of music here, it's still samba, the traditional samba that people like the most. Yeah, of course. The real atmosphere of Lapa you should enter in the small houses. This is our spot. Ah, oh, we're going right there? Yep. Some people dance, some people talking, some people drink, some people walk, some people sing along. So if you want to see a, a good samba being played, come to see me tonight. We are there. Well, we are there. It's a date. <laughs> much every night. Every night you have the passion and the will. Every night is different. And this night is spectacular. The Summer Olympics are nearly upon us. But until then, the only party that can come close to capturing that level of excitement here in Rio is at the legendary Sambadrome. But before you parade, you need to look the part. Oh my goodness! Yay! We are so excited! Do you have our costumes? Let me put that blazer on. I am pimping. I just think a little nip and tuck. That's fabulous. I like this. Mm-hmm. Working around the clock, often to the very last minute along with her team of designers, seamstresses, and tailors, Nedge Kondidu has produced nearly 1,000 costumes for each of the last 16 years she's competed with the Grande Rio Samba School. How proud are you to be a part of this? Muito orgulhosa, muito mesmo, adoro. É um prazer, né? Estou cansada ali, mas estou vendo ali meu trabalho e de todos os meus amigos, né, que participaram para botar a escola na Avenida. A gente fica ali feliz, só esperando. Campeonato. I'm really excited to try this. The dancing, though, is going to be real tough. <laughs> this is not what we practiced, Johnny. You <laughs> With millions of dollars and man hours invested, and with parade judges set to analyze the most minute details of each Samba School presentation, the pressure backstage at the Samba Drum is palpable. Someone's coming through. Oh. Oh, so many people. This is 
like Mardi Gras, Halloween. None of them have anything on this. This, this is, is nuts. If you're gonna do a parade, this is the one. There's our boat. Our boat looks good. It does. It's awesome. Why is your hand so warm? Are you nervous? I oh. just don't know what to expect. It's 100,000 people. That's kind of the biggest audience I've ever performed for. And uh, it's gonna be sheer craziness, a pure cultural event. Go, go, go. Ah, it's so exciting. Oh my God, if you could see this. Here in the marvelous city, mountains meet metropolis and dissolve into the sea. The line between fantasy and reality eternally intertwined. There's a culture so rich it's intoxicating. You come for the beaches and stay for the diverse, complex, driven, and beautiful world beyond them. And we'll see you in Rio.